It is wash day once again. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a long awaited one brand wash day featuring Miribel Naturals. This used to be my soigne a super long time ago. The founder, Jackie, rebranded to Miribel Naturals and I gotta say, I really love this rebrand. It's got a 70s vibe retro packaging and not to mention, it's a very small women-owned business wherein all the products are like handcrafted in her kitchen during formulation so that she gets the absolute best formulas. These products are absolutely incredible and I am so excited to share them with you today. I am a little bit nervous, however, because I don't know if you can see, if you can tell, but yeah, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> the level of grease and buildup in my hair is quite atrocious. And yes, this is with dry shampoo in it. Also, in case you've ever doubted whether or not you have wavy curly hair, this is what my hair air dries like product free. If I just shampoo it, condition, and let it go. This is what it does. Isn't that wild? You'll see, you'll see what happens when I style it wavy curly, but the transformative power of how you style your hair just is mind boggling to me. Before we get into washing and styling this head of hair, let me explain one brand wash days. In case you haven't been hanging out here on this channel for over a year at this point, we have started a series wherein we use three products to wash and style this head of hair so that we keep the variables to a minimum and you can really see how different product lines perform side by side by side by side. Each of the three products is from one brand. We use a cleanser, a conditioner, and a styler, and that's it. Super simple wash day. Why? Because sometimes simple is all you have the bandwidth for, the capacity for, you get the idea, the time for. When life gets busy, you need simple, good routines that you can count on. And this series is meant to give you more information as the consumer. And this series is meant to give you more information as the consumer about which products may or may not work best for you. Just because I don't love them here on this channel doesn't mean they won't be the absolute best products for you. I do my best to give a detailed description of how each of the products perform and who I think they would work best for. So if this sounds interesting to you, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so that we can hang out together on future videos. I also got called out recently in a comment where someone said, oh, that's your 2022 routine. And I basically pulled out all the stops and just used more than one styler on my hair. Guys, you don't have to only ever use three products on your hair. We are doing that for the sake of this series so that you get a really clear comparison between brands. If I were to be layering a ton of different stylers from one brand on top of each other, one, there are some brands where I would use about 10 different stylers on my hair, and two, you wouldn't know which of the stylers was doing what at that point. So if you personally find that you get your best results when you combine stylers, you layer stylers, you use a leave-in, you use a heat protectant, you use a mousse, you use a curl enhancer, you use a gel, you use a hairspray. If you personally really love how your hair turns out when you do that, by all means, please do that. Hopefully these really simple stripped down routines in the One Brand Wash Day series give you ideas about which products may work best for you to incorporate into your routine. All right, now that we've got all of that funny business out of the way, let's get to washing and styling this head of hair. All righty guys, we're kicking off this wash day by getting the hair nice and soaking wet before I go in with the Creamy Hair Cleanser. What is so unique about this particular product, it's that it has a very light exfoliation to it, but it also has apple cider vinegar, turmeric, tea tree, and peppermint. So I am going to take quite a generous amount of this product and distribute it all through my hair and really take my time 
cleansing my scalp with the pads of my fingers, never my fingernails. This is technically what I would consider a co-wash or a conditioner wash. It is very, very, very low foaming. This is not a typical low poo or shampoo. It's a conditioner wash, which means as there is less chemical cleansing in the product, I need to up the mechanical cleansing with my fingers, meaning I just need to scrub my scalp with the pads of my fingers quite a bit more. Now I am going to pull this through the lengths of my hair and I will do a second cleanse after I rinse my hair out completely. Grabbing a decently generous amount of this product for the second cleanse and going in one more time. Now I don't know if this is actually going to transfer on camera, but I can actually feel this product foaming and lathering a little bit on the second time around. And I do think that is due in part to the Behetrimonium methyl sulfate in the product. Another wild thing about this product is it has a crazy amount of slip. I can actually finger detangle my hair with this product in it. On top of that, I actually get a light squeaky feeling at my roots, telling me that the product actually did a marvelous job cleansing my hair. I am going to rinse this out really, really thoroughly before I go in with the Powerhouse Protein Cream. I love this product because it can be rinsed out or left in. I do like to rinse it out, but it is a powerhouse protein packed product. It contains hydrolyzed rice protein, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed quinoa. I'm going to take a medium amount of this product, definitely less than I did of the creamy hair cleanser. And I'm going to distribute this through my hair with my fingers, really finger detangling my hair. Honestly, my hair is pretty detangled after that creamy hair cleanser. But once all of the tangles are out of my hair and I'm really sure that there are no tangles left, I'm going to grab this wide tooth brush. It's not really a comb, but it's a wide tooth brush and brush this through my hair from root to tip. I really do want to condition my roots along with the lengths and ends of my hair. I get really bad halo frizz, really short frizz <laughs> around my crown area and conditioning all the way to my roots actually helps that quite a bit. Now I'm going to add just a touch of water to the back of my head and do a really thorough squish to condition. This helps reactivate the hydrogen bonds in my hair, get my waves and curls back after they've been so wildly stretched out. Really taking my time as I do this, the longer that protein is in contact with my hair, the more of a proteiny type effect I will get. I really do like using products that are heavy in protein with my fine hair as it does help lend structure to my hair. All right, I feel pretty good about that. Now I'm going to thoroughly rinse this product out of my hair, making sure to scrub my scalp with the pads of my fingers as I rinse. This is an extra insurance step, making sure that no residue of that conditioner is left behind on my scalp. Then I'm going to organize my curl clumps with my faithful, trusty bounce curl defining brush. I have been terribly hooked on this brush ever since it launched. It is absolutely incredible and I do have links for this brush in the description of this video with a coupon code if you're interested. This video is not sponsored, but I do do my best to get a coupon code for you guys when I can, because I know I really appreciate a discount, so I'm trying to pass that along to y'all. Now that my curl clumps are thoroughly organized, I'm going in with the Silky Smooth Flaxseed Gel. This product contains not only flaxseed extract, but also aloe vera juice and vitamin E. It's a pretty simple stripped down formula, and it also contains a humidity blocking ingredient in Polyquaternium 10. It has a super light fragrance, which I really appreciate. All of the products have a natural fragrance. In case you have an allergy to fragrance, these products use all natural fragrances, which shouldn't cause you any issues. This is a really runny gel, so I am going to glaze it over and scrunch it in. Honestly, this is my favorite prefabbed flaxseed gel I have ever tried. Most of the flaxseed gels that I try that come from the store or are already packaged, like what I mean is not making the flaxseed myself at home, but if I buy it, the flaxseed gel already made, they tend to flash dry in my hair. 
This one does not do that. It makes my hair feel slimy and silky and so good and nourished and hydrated and clumpy. This is what my curl clumps are looking like after I've applied that gel to my hair. It's looking pretty good. Minimal wet frizz. Now I'm going to go plop my hair and diffuse and be back to scrunch out the crunch with you guys. And here we are ready to scrunch out the crunch. There is an actual somewhat of a cast. The ends of my hair are out of the cast, but there's like cast in other places. So let's go ahead and fluff this out and scrunch it. It did take a little bit longer to dry today. And I think that's due in part to using a co-wash to cleanse my hair with. But also because this flaxseed gel really helps my hair retain moisture, which is sometimes a really good thing if your hair is quite dehydrated and prone to super dryness. Wow, my hair feels soft. <laughs> so, so shiny, so soft, so good. I did wait till my hair was 100% dry before fluffing it and scrunching it and revealing the final wash day result. This looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the back. As always with these one brand wash days, I will be back at the end of the day to show you how it held up and back on the morning of day two to show you how it held up overnight. Let's take a quick look at the roots. You can see how like clean these are. <laughs> There's no oil left over. It is ridiculously shiny. So it kind of looks greasy, but I'm trying to show you that it's just the shine on the hair. These roots are fluffy. They're not piecing together with oil and grease like they were at the beginning of this video. There's like some piecing together that's happening in certain places, but it's really more like the hair's clumping in curl families, not clumping together because of oil. All right, I'll be back at the end of the day to show you how it held up. And here we are at the end of the day. I still have really good volume, which is kind of shocking, but I'm not complaining. My hair feels absolutely incredible. I would say that the flaxseed gel has zero grit frizz. There's, there's some, but it's not bad. I mean, I can just kind of work my fingers through, kind of like pull it back in. <laughs> it's doing pretty good. Let's see how the back's looking. It might be just the smidgenest elongated, stretched out, but really, it's holding pretty good too. Shine, really nice. My hair does feel perhaps just the slightest bit heavy, which is why I was surprised that there's still this much volume because my hair does actually feel slightly heavy. Anyway, all right, I will see y'all in the morning so that we can check out how it held up overnight. Wow, I'm not very coherent, I'm very tired. See y'all in the morning. And here we are on the morning of day two. Actually, that's a lie. It is the afternoon of day two. Has my hair been up the entire day? Yes, it has. The day really did get away from me, but I am super curious to see how this wash day has done because boy, have I been mean to it. I went on a 45 minute walk yesterday. I have run all the errands this morning finally, finally have stopped long enough to assess the hair situation. Okay, I'm trying to chat for a second to give it at least a moment to settle. Wow. Okay, normally I am more greasy on the morning of day two slash afternoon of day two, especially when I keep my hair pulled back, but that is, really minimal grease. Let's take a quick look at the back.
Wow, what is happening? Yes, it's a little bit looser than it was yesterday. It's definitely stretched out up top and a little bit frizzy, but the ends have some really good shine. I still have decent curl definition, curl enhancement, and my hair feels, let me take an honest assessment here. Yeah, I would say that my hair feels the best it has felt on a day two like the right hydration levels. It feels really silky. I feel like I could totally finger detangle my hair right now with like lots of slip. There's no tangles in my hair. That is wild. Wow. Overall, this one brand wash day featuring all Maryville natural products has been a pleasant surprise. It's not the tightest, curliest hair day like with Riojo or Kinky Curly, but like my hair feels super healthy. And there's definitely a lot more hold in these products than with the Aveda Nutriplenish, I think it's called. Those super crazy expensive products that are supposed to be so fantastic for your hair. My hair still feels like the same amount of heavy. It's not any more lightweight today. Overall, this is pretty, pretty crazy, pretty good. For my hair to be this clean on day two after using a co-wash and being that oily, greasy when we started is really impressive. Let me know in the comments down below which one brand wash day you would like to see next. And as always, I sure hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.